Hi, third through fifth graders. This is Mrs. Walker, and we're going to do a project on Ted Harrison. Uh, we're in the middle of winter, so I thought it would be fun to do um, a winter project. Ted Harrison was from the Yukon, which is um, covered in snow a lot of the year and very cold. And um, he had a unique way of drawing landscapes, and we're going to turn our paper landscape, so this is portrait and this is landscape, and um, we're going to um, make a landscape that looks like Ted Harrison's and use uh, warm and cool colors in a specific way. So we're going to first, and you can draw your landscape um, any way you want to. You can use inspiration for any of Ted Harrison's painting. It's, it's completely up to you. This is just an example. So I'm going to make some hills. His, um, he had a unique way of showing things that are normally straight shapes. The hills are not straight shapes, but Things that are normally straight, he would show them un or to appear to be organic. And so I'm going to, I think I'm going to draw maybe halfway up the paper until there's a horizon line where, this, where the ground meets the sky. And he also um, had a knack for making a sun. So I'm going to make it a little different on this one. Um, what he would do is change his color every time he went on an outer ring and um, he would just make it expand a little bit like Kandinsky. We talked about Vasily Kandinsky and um, he did some unique things too with circles. So I'm going to make some rays but I'm not going to go past my horizon line. And so I'm going to have some, some rays of the sun and a nice um, snowy ground. And he would often, um, in the foreground, so this is the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. And you can also um, cut some things out and put in the foreground if you want to. Um, he would show houses, though. Instead of the roofs being straight, he would have them kind of curved like this. If you go back and look at the paintings, and so you can, so we call that a little wonky, like a wonky donkey. And um, you can do all kinds of things. You can make trees. Remember that things in the background are smaller than things in the foreground. So your tree in the foreground might be more like this. Of course, I'm using a Sharpie. You can use um, pencils or oil pastels. And so you can see that things that are in the foreground are bigger than things in the background. If you make you go any further back, it would be even smaller. If you go even further back, it would be even smaller. Okay, so um, just remember that as you're doing your illustration. And so I'm going to stop right there. You can add anything you want to to your illustration to show different things in the Yukon. And then we're going to use warm colors and cool colors. To, to show um, the difference between the sky and the ground. So everything below the horizon line needs to be cool colors. Everything above the horizon line needs to be warm colors, except when you do your details down here, they can be um, warm colors. Um, so when Ted Harrison worked, he would use the same paint palette for his whole painting. So he might do three or four colors of paint, sometimes five, and he would alternate those colors over and over again to show the different parts um, or the different scenery that he was making. So, um, for instance, I might color my sun yellow. 
if on my other marker, this is a skinny marker, but it's really hard to see that on the screen. So I colored that yellow, and then I'm going to color this outer ring red. You can see that. I just want to show you for a minute how um, I'm going to alternate it. And let me grab an orange. Ooh, that was a neon orange. Oh well, it works. Okay, so I'm going to do this outer ring in orange. And then, so for the next ring, I might even repeat. So I'll go back to yellow. So there was a little bit of pattern in his work. And so I want you to um, make sure you watch the videos. And I want you to have fun with this project and think about how you can alternate the same colors. We actually did this project with paint. If you have paint at home, you are welcome to do that. It'll be a lot of fun. And so here is one that I completed a little while ago. And you can see how it alternated. He also um, sometimes would dip his sun down into the land or down into the horizon line. And that was supposed to show a reflection on the snow. And um, so you can see how, I know that's a weird, I started out making a dog, but I kind of messed it up. So it's a, it's a wonky donkey. But um, so you can make um, shadows. I just made these um, tree shadows and the animal a shadow. And um, so be creative with it. And you could even add glitter or um, paints or oil pastels will look really pretty. So um, have fun with it, and I look forward to seeing your projects. If you um, get one done, please um, attach it to an email. I would love to see it. Y'all stay safe, and we miss you. Bye.